Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own email list building assessment in Typeform. Okay, so if you've watched any of my past videos, you know that I'm really big on the concept of building an email list. I think it's essential. You can have Instagram and you can have Facebook and Twitter and you can have all these different platforms, but if you don't have an email list that you control and that you're continually growing, you always run the risk of one of those platforms undermining the actual business or brand that you're trying to build. One of the problems I've found, however, is that a lot of people tend to uh, kind of get stuck in a rut when it comes to creating something of value that they can give to someone for signing up for their email list. So a lot of people will do like a PDF guide and that can be useful, it can be good. Uh, but again, it seems like uh, the options tend to be slim. If you can't necessarily, you don't have the budget or the gear or the time or the availability to create like a full on, you know, video course or audio workshop or something like that. Sometimes it just helps to have some tools that can give you uh, the ability to create something a little bit more unique and helpful to your audience without needing a huge budget to do it. So that's when I came across the ability to create uh, quizzes and assessments in a tool called Typeform. So Typeform is really powerful. It's a really easy to use, simple, powerful platform that enables you to create essentially forms. But beyond just forms, it also enables to, you to keep track of things like scores and pricing, which works great for something like a, a cust creating a custom quote or creating something else like an assessment. So you might be wondering, why would somebody want to have an assessment? What's the value in creating an assessment in terms of for new people who would be joining your email list? An assessment is great, especially if you have a specific way or uh, methodology for teaching something. So if you are a coach or a consultant, uh, even if you are uh, you know, a real estate agent, if there's something that you do that is relevant to the topic of the people that you're trying to serve, an assessment can be a great way to do that. So for example, if you're like in my uh, my shoes and you do something like you teach and you, uh, you train people on how to create an effective brand, well, sometimes people may not actually see or notice the value in what it is that you provide until you give them some sort of basis for which to do that. So what it does is it accomplishes a couple of things. Number one, it shows people the value of what it is that you do. Number two, it gets them thinking about some ways that you as a thought leader in the particular market that you're serving could help them solve that problem, either for free via the content that you create or paid via your coaching or consulting services or your online course, your membership site, whatever it is that you're trying to offer to them. An assessment can help begin to start the process of helping them to see that they need you, which then leads us to the point of, okay, so how does this then grow my email list? So one of the ways that I've typically set up assessments in the past is you start out by just having them fill out a series of questions. And then the very last question of the assessment, you say, where should we send or where should we email your score? They type in an email uh, address and then what it does is it emails them a copy, uh, uh, an automated email which has their score and then it says, you know, uh, look out for, uh, you know, future resources and tools that you're going to get in the future as a result of having taken this quiz, something to that effect. And so what you end up with is something that doesn't ask up front for the email address that asks at the end after they see the value of what they're going to be interacting with or what they already did interact with. Okay, so now that we've got the massive explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into uh, actually setting one of these up. And I'm gonna be doing this with three tools. Uh, you'll have to use the paid version of one of, uh, some of these are paid, so uh, Typeform and ConvertKit are paid, so there is a little bit of a cost involved if you wanna do this. However, you can get a 30-day free trial to ConvertKit, and you can get uh, use the free version up to a point uh, of Typeform. Uh, and then we'll also be using a, a third tool called uh, Zapier, which you can use for free for what we'll be doing. So Typeform, Zapier, and ConvertKit are the three tools that we'll be using to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so now that we're here in type form, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click the little option here where they allow us to create a new type form, and then we're going to start from scratch. 
and we'll just go ahead and click assess and click start. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just give a little welcome screen. There we go. And then what you can do is you can add in here uh, a video or an image or something else. And you don't even necessarily have to use this welcome screen if you don't want to. It's just a nice little addition. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to add in, uh, I'm just going to do two questions just to make it really simple. I'll just say, what is the capital? Actually, you know what? I was going to, this is more of a quiz. So let's go ahead and make this more relevant for something uh, that would be an assessment. So on a scale of one to ten how effectively would you say your brand sells your products and services there we go that's better okay so now it gives us the opportunity then to go in here and then pick some of the options so what we want to do is make sure that it's required you can add a description if you want uh, I can add an image, video, start scale at one. I wanna do this on a scale of one to 10. And then you can add this as well. This, this is really nice if you wanna add labels from left to right about what the zero or what the one or what the 10 represents. So driving force, driver, there we go. So now we've got on the left, uh, not at all, that's the main driver. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add one more of these uh, opinion scales. How well known is your brand among people in your target market? So that'd be a good question to ask. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go up here. We're going to say that this is required. We're going to start the scale at one, drop this down to 10. Well known. There we go. Nice and simple. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we've added two questions in here. So the thing that we need to do next is add a value to these particular things. So uh, what we can do uh, is we can click on this little calculator icon over here in the left-hand corner and add a calculation. Okay, and so all the default pieces that we have here are good. So we just wanna make sure that we add whatever they answer uh, to the score. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing. So what that's going to do in effect is if they answer one, they're gonna get one point. If they answer 10, they're gonna get 10 points, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in here and we're going to uh, add the same thing, add a calculation, always add to the score. So anytime that they answer one through 10, it's going to add to the overall score. So obviously two would be the lowest score for this whole assessment and 20 would be the very highest. Okay, so the last thing that we wanna do here is we just wanna add uh, an email address because remember, we have to make sure that when we are going through this, that people can fill out uh, the email address to which we will send this. So this has to be required. Uh, there we go, and we'll say, where should we email your score? And then people will be able to fill out their email address right there, and that is Perfect. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the form. Let's go ahead and take a very quick peek at what this looks like on the front end. We click start, and as you can see, we can go through here and we can answer these questions. And then it goes to the place where we fill out the email address. And then there we go from there. Okay, so uh, that works perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to set up respondent notifications. So don't need self notifications unless for whatever reason you wanna receive an email from every single person that fills out this form. You probably don't, um, but in the case that you do, you can you can uh, select that. Uh, for this option now, what we're gonna do is we're going to select a option for people who fill it out and this is where they're gonna receive their score. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, uh, if people want to reply, if you want them to be able to reply to you, you can type out an email address here. Give it a headline, perfect. Okay, and then what you can do is you can make this really personal. You can add a lot more detail than I'm going to be the, uh, adding here. So let's say, hello, here's your score. And there we go, this is the score, so it's a variable. Have a great day. 
So as you can see, you can make this as, as fancy as you want to, but the bottom line is it's gonna have their score right here emailed to them when they fill out this form. Okay, but now one of the challenges that we're gonna run into now is that if we just stop here, we're not actually gonna be capturing this email in any of our services. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using ConvertKit. You can attach this to MailChimp or a number of other third-party services. I recommend ConvertKit, link below this video if you wanna get a 30-day free trial, but it works really well. Uh, and it's nice because you can also tag people who are filling out the form. So let's go ahead and jump into that. In order to, to do this, what we're gonna to need to be able to do is, first we have to have our ConvertKit account set up. So make sure that you have a, a ConvertKit account set up, you've added a tag. Uh, in this case, I've created a tag that just says test migrate type form, that works great. So I'm not gonna go through all the details about how to set up a ConvertKit account, it's pretty easy. If you don't have one, just go to rightly.tv slash ConvertKit, set up a, an account absolutely free for 30 days. Uh, and then create your very first tag. So really easy to do once you're in ConvertKit, just do that first before heading over to Zapier. Again, I'll add, I'll add links to all these different websites below this video so that you always you can get right to them uh, for setting these up. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Typeform. Uh, we're going to be uh, essentially picking from this uh, what two apps we wanna connect together. So we're doing that and ConvertKit. Okay, so when somebody enter a uh, new entry, uh, then what we wanna do is tag a subscriber. And the great thing is that if they don't exist in any of your lists or on your list, they'll be added and then the tag will be added to them as well. So it adds them as a new subscriber. Let's make sure that we have the right one. Yep, new entry, and we'll go ahead and click use zap. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and I have uh, added my Typeform account. Typically what you do is you just click connect account. It will jump over to Typeform and it will ask you to connect your account. So this works perfect. Okay, now it should ask me to select a particular form, migrate assessment. Okay, looks like that's good. Click continue. Okay, so they created uh, a sample entry just to make sure that everything is working properly. We're gonna go ahead and select it just to move on. Okay, so now we're going to select a convert kit. I'm gonna add tag to a subscriber. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, once I've connected my account, I can just go ahead and click test, success, so we're good there. Let that load and now should be uh, allowing me to fill these things out. Okay, so when somebody fills out the type form, I can now pick which particular tag I wanna add to those new users. There we go. Test migrate type form. Now what I can do is I can look through all the different pieces of data that are entered in uh, through type form. You'll see here that there's a spot for them to uh, fill out their email address, I select that field. First name, I didn't ask for that. I also didn't ask for, I've got a custom field called affiliate worked into ConvertKit. Uh, those are optional, I don't need those, so I'm just gonna click continue. Okay, so now that we've gone through the process of setting up this particular connection between Typeform and ConvertKit, we can just go ahead and click finish. Give it a quick name, I'm just gonna say test Typeform to convert kit. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and click that this is now on. So we'll give it a second. Perfect. It says that your zap is now working. Okay. So now for the moment of truth, we're just going to jump over to our type form to the front end. And you're going to see that type form is going to give you a nice URL that you can go and share. You can link to it on your website. You can also embed this on your website as well, which is a really nice thing about type form. Okay. So on a scale of one to 10, how effectively would you say your brand? So as your product services, let's just go ahead and say three and then seven, and then let's go ahead and give it a nice email address here. So we'll just go ahead and do click okay and then submit. Okay, so it was sent over. Okay, and then I just jumped over and checked out uh, my email. It's really short, really simple. You say, hello, here's your score. It's got the 10. Obviously, you'll probably wanna be a little bit more creative with the email that you send, but there you go. We see that it sent that uh, as it was supposed to. 
And then as I jump over to uh, ConvertKit, you'll be able to see that email address was added to my list. And you'll see that I'm looking at the tag test migrate type form. So A, the person was added to the email list and B, uh, this tag was applied to them as well. So everything worked out as it was supposed to between Typeform, uh, Zapier, and ConvertKit. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. I'm just hoping that uh, creating an assessment is a little bit more of an interesting and useful and interactive way to gain new email subscribers. And more importantly, just to be extremely helpful to those that you're wanting to serve, getting an idea uh, not only for them in terms of what you know, where they can improve, where they might need your services, also for you to be able to take an in-depth look. We didn't get into too much detail about uh, this in this video, but Typeform has a ton of uh, analytics tools that enables you to dive in and see how different people are answering the questions. So it uh, it not only helps them get an idea of where they are in their journey in the particular. Uh, products and services that you offer, but it can also help you understand your audience better. So there's a lot of different ways that this assessment can be really useful for helping you build and grow your audience as well as your email list. So I can't wait to see the type of assessments that you create. As always, if you have any questions or if you'd like to show me the assessment that you built, feel free to leave a comment below this video. I'd be more than happy to take a look. Uh, also, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.